So the long journey to the summit of European football starts with the opening fixture of the Champions League. So off we go then. And it's Sahar. Out to the left it goes. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Zaha, can he score? Big relief, it just needed better contact. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Sometimes that's exactly the requirement to give you the early edge. Now for more. Just brushed off the ball there. Zaha. Deportivo have conceded a few at around this time recently. Looking to stay solid now. Richie. A really good feat from him. So what now? Richie. How about it? That really should have hit the net. That's a poor kick by the keeper, he's just given it straight back. Hit long and direct. A poorly directed kick from the keeper, he's given it away. Pablo Sarabia. Spreads it wide. Hits it first time! Fair effort, he reacted well. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. Turns, has a swing at it! Very speculative with little threat, if any, for the keeper. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So neither team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil.
whistle goes and we start the second half Zaha oh he did the hard part right but fluffed the finish the timing of the pass and run was has a hit he's got away with one there Bentaleb really was just waiting to pounce on any slip up and he was gifted a chance that's a throw Bentaleb passes it through. Goes for goal! They've done it! Deportivo. Break the deadlock. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half time, it's worked a treat. Jim, what are you thinking? Peter, they're leaving nobody guessing now. This is a decisive attempt to go further in front. Steered out. Goes for it! In for the pieces! He has done it! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Deportivo get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. Makaleli. And it's Sahar, out wide to the right. Pablo Sarabia with the shot! Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Makaleli. And that's that. Deportivo starts as they wanted to start. All three points, the first three points, crucially. Hello and a warm welcome to everyone across the globe. We should be on the way very shortly. The players will be with us any time now. And our live game is Ibar against Deportivo. Well, here's a guy making his first start in these colours. What do you think? Yeah, he's obviously been brought in to strengthen a certain position and the next few weeks will determine his tactical suitability. It's up to him now how this may influence his future. Can have a look at the starting lineups now.
off we go then. Ibar have so far failed to win any of their three games this season. It is a trend that surely mustn't continue. And it's Leon. Looks to clip it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Zaha in with a header! He's delivered all right! What a super header, dispatched beautifully. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. <laughs> Deportivo have an early lead. Good start. Ben Taleb looks to slip it through. He's left his man. And he heaves it forward. A real chance to break. And he has been fouled there. Inui looking for options, and he's there to cut it out. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looking to shoot. They've done it! And already they're looking to run away with it. Deportivo get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. And it's half-time here. Reflections on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Deportivo go in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. Here we go again then. And it's Pablo Sarabia. Going through. He's had a shot. Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. He's had a look. Hits one. Really well taken goal. Ibar get themselves back into contention. A scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more... Shoots! This defence is, is where... Goes for goal! What about it? A two-goal cushion and it's looking safe! Deportivo, go two up and into a position of real strength. Well, that goal should be... Has a hit! More and more and more and... Oh, they are running riot and the lead is extended still further Deportivo grab a three goal lead it's just too easy 
punch him through. And the finish! Back of the net! Ruthless and relentless! Utterly rampant! Deportivo, totally rampant. And there goes the final whistle. Deportivo have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? When you get free-flowing football out wide with consistent supply into the box, it brings excitement and entertainment to the proceedings. And that was a brilliant display of, of good wing play for me. This is a performance that hasn't just got my approval. Listen. So before we go, many thanks to Jim Beglin for his input and from us both, good afternoon.
the warmest of welcomes to you. We await the conclusion of the pre-game formalities. And our live game is Celta Vigo against Deportivo. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here. It really is. Celta Vigo have elected to go 3-6-1. Yeah, and it's not a formation you see too much of, as one of the six in midfield can also be used as a withdrawn striker. we go then look this isn't likely to be decided by the best formation or a tactical game plan when you meet the enemy it's all about heart and passion and who wants it more this won't be soft and gentle looks to dink one in ball through needs to be good here Pablo Sarabia Bentaleb plays it back and it's Bentaleb shapes the shoots and that's caused a worry or two yeah he may have snatched at that a bit even though it was quite close Deportivo have grabbed this game by the scruff of the neck and aren't letting go Pablo Sarabia. Now the pass. And he's onside. He's gone for it. He's delivered all right. And it's Deportivo who take the lead. Deportivo are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. <laughs> Deportivo break the deadlock still a fragile lead though they can't afford to sit on this Chrome Deli played out to the wing going through can he score and it's been given away and a second time he's got away with one there that's what all good teams do these days. Pressing from the front is highly effective. Now 
he's wondering who wants it. Gets into some space. Big chance. It's anyone's ball. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Oh, it's Marco Asensio. And it's Marco Asensio. Coaxed out to the wing. Tries a through ball. Oh, full-blooded challenge, and it had to be. And the shot! Bentaleb. Marco Asensio. He's got the ball glued to his feet. Shot a goal! It's in! Two to the good! They have breathing space! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Some first half thoughts? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Deportivo sitting pretty here at half time, 2 0 up. And we're already back on the way here. We've got a change to either side during the break. Surely done! An act of charity gratefully received. without reply this is becoming a stroll cuts it out Deportivo won emphatically last time morale is high for this one looks like a good ball through he's got away has a swing at it and that really should have hit the net well talking about a man on a mission that was a super effort then taking this chance to turn to their benches passes it through now it's Bass oh the ball's come loose oh, no question that's a foul this defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Battles to win it back. Pablo Sarabia. Looks to slip it through. Played it out wide, but the less said about that pass, the better. We have got changes here, from both sides in fact. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think... And the finish! No, he got that all wrong. 
It so nearly came off for him. Yeah, he's been at the centre of a lot of things, hasn't he? Uh, mostly good, I should add. of the outcome it is good to see someone running at the defense like that sprint it wide oh that is lovely footwork Pablo Sar in with a header great football shot and save and the referee brings it to a close Deportivo very much the dominant side almost the only side every time they got on the ball they looked like scoring it is a landslide so there it is. What struck you most about that? Deportivo made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form. It's not always about class or style. It's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. My well, thanks to Jim alongside me. And as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.